Welcome sa sip9.com. This video tutuloy natin yung ating uh, series on interest, no? And uh, in this video ay ito na yung pinaka I think it, this is the sixth. Dito sa series natin and here we have a different type of problem, no? So a cooperative gives a simple interest of 9% yearly for investors and Lisa invested 60,000 pesos and got an interest of 16,200 pesos. Now, um, how many years did Lisa invested her money? So, how many years? Yun tinatanong. I think this is uh, obvious na time yung hinahanap natin, di ba? So, you remember the formula I equals PRT, no? Where I is the interest, P is the principal, R is the rate, and T is the time. So, ang given natin dito ay interest, which is 16,200. Tapos yung ating principal, yung pinaka-capital natin, which is uh, 60,000. Tapos yung ating rate, no? which is 9%. Or, in this case, 0 0.09 sa decimal. No? So, ito yung decimal equivalent niya. Ang sabi natin, pag meron tayong given na 9%, or any uh, percent, hindi natin siya pwedeng i-diretso sa computation. Kailangan. Pwede natin siyang ilipat sa decimal or sa fraction para ma makapag-compute tayo. No? So, ang equivalent dito ay 0 0.09 which is uh, dividing 9 by 100. Pag nag-divide tayo ng 9 by 100, ang 9 kasi pwede siyang isulat sa as 9.0. No? So, pag nag-divide tayo ng 100, nangyari is uh, umuusod yung decimal point natin by two places to the left. No? So, kaya magiging 0 0.09 siya which is uh, the same as this number. Okay? So, ito na yung mga given natin. Ang unknown natin ay ang T. So, gagawin natin, substitute lang natin. We have I equals PRT. And our interest, our I, is 16,200. Our principal, our P, is 60,000. Tapos yung ating... Uh, R is uh, 0 0.09. And then, we have uh, our time as our unknown. No? So, so, what is 60,000 times 0 0.09? So, puro lang naman 0 yan. Eh, Apat, tapos 54, no? O, tama ba? Uh, pag 9 lang, we ignore the decimal... Uh, decimal points and the decimal point we have 540,000 kulang tayo ng ano kulang tayo ng isang zero kasi apat na zero dito apat na zeros and then 9 times 6 is 54 no? but we have two decimal points here no? yung nasa kanan ng decimal point we have two numbers so dapat dalawa rin dito no? so 5,400 ibig sabihin itong product na itong dalawang so 16,200 equals 5,400 times t, no? And, para makuha natin yung t, we divide both sides by 5,400, syempre. 5,400. Okay? So, so magka-cancel tayo dito. The value of t, lilipat ko na lang siya sa kaliwa, ay 6,200 divided by 5,400. Pwede tayo mag-cancel dito, cancel dito. What is 162 divided by 54? I think that's easy to divide, no? So, that's 3. So, ano ang T natin dito? Our T is in years. Ibig sabihin, uh, Lisa invested her money for 3 years. No? So, pwede tayo mag-check, no? So, pwede nating i-substitute I equals the principal which is 60,000 times rate, which is 0 0.09 times 3, which is 3 years. Dapat ang sagot natin dito maging 16,200. So, let's check using a calculator para mas mapilis. We have 60,000 times 0 0.09 Oh, sorry. Look at it. 60,000 times 0 0.09 and then times 3 dapat 16,200 siya okay, tama? 16,200 
So, ibig sabihin tama yung sagot natin. Okay, so I think this is it. Uh, hindi ko alam kung magdadagdag pa ako ng, uh, ng uh, isa pang problem dito. No? So, uh, abangan nyo na lang kung ano yung susunod natin. Or, uh, kung hindi man, this, is, this will be the last uh, video. But I think I'll, I'll add one more tomorrow. No? Uh, of course, uh, tomorrow kasi yung, yung point of reference natin is ngayon. No? But uh, uh, I'll add, it's either I'll add one more video or probably this is the last video. Maraming salamat. Gusto ko kayong uh, invite sa sinayin.com, yung ating uh, uh, website. And kung kayo ay nanonood sa YouTube, pwede kayo mag-subscribe no, sa ating um, YouTube channel. No? Click nyo lang yung subscribe button below the video. Maraming salamat. See you in the next tutorial.